www.kicklife.com Hey guys, and welcome to my um, proxy bypassing tutorial. Um, this tutorial is, uh, it's not really a tutorial, it's going to be, uh, it's a collection of uh, methods and techniques I've um, learnt over the years on how to bypass um, high school or work um, web blocking uh, security, okay? So, say you want to go to like any website, so let's say uh, MySpace, um, if that site's blocked, I'm going to show you how to bypass it, okay? Um, I'm going to start the most obvious way, which would be to go to a proxy site. Um, if you don't know what a proxy site is, it's quite simply what it does. Um, it will allow you to access uh, any website you want, um, providing the proxy site's not blocked itself. Okay. So if you want to access MySpace um, and it's blocked it, uh, at your work or school, all you have to do is enter it into a uh, into a proxy site. And it will pop up here. Okay. There we go. That's that's. Uh, this is MySpace, but you're not you're not actually accessing it through MySpace. You're actually uh, you're going through it through this URL. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is this is how to use a proxy. Okay. Um, if this way doesn't work for you, there is another way. Um, there's always another way. Um, I have a file here. Okay. Poo.bat. Um, this batch file will. Uh, this is quite easy. Um, it's quite an easy thing. I'm going to put it on my website when I finish making this video. Um, basically, what you do, simply double click on it. You'll see this prompt. Uh, type, uh, just type Y in both fields, and then wait for the uh, thing to pop up. Okay. Um, this now. Ins this Internet Explorer right now is uh, using a proxy <coughs> to access um, anything I want. Okay, um, so this site here, Google, um, I'm not actually going directly to Google.com. Okay, the proxy is. Okay, so everything this website you see here is all done through a proxy. Okay, um, so if this site was blocked and you uh, use this program here, then it will uh, you'll be able to access it. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's another way. Um, if, you, if this way doesn't work for you, then you can always go into the registry editor, which is here. <coughs> okay, navigate your way to this folder. Um, you can do it by checking this out down here. Okay, look at that. And uh, simply going to proxy enable, which is here. Change the value to one if it's zero. Click OK. Then go to proxy server and enter this data. Okay, take a screenshot, do whatever, and then uh, when you've done that, click OK, and then it should all work. Okay. <coughs> so basically, uh, what this does, that will enable you to access any site you want. Um, if this way doesn't work, you can always uh, download the browser that your school isn't using. Okay. Um, so basically, if the school, if you're always using um, Internet Explorer and they blocked access to tools internet options which allows you to change um, the proxy so uh, you could also do this way if your school isn't blocked access to this um, to this setting then go in here and type all that okay take a screenshot remember it type it in this is the uh, proxy address by the way click OK and then tick make sure that both of these boxes are ticked click OK again OK and then um, let's try access the site, whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, if this way doesn't work for you, <coughs> then you can always download um, another browser. Okay. Because the chances are the school haven't blocked access to the proxy settings in the browser that they're not using. Okay. So say you go to a school and they use Internet Explorer. All you've got to do is download Firefox, um, which is another web browser. Uh, actually, this is Firefox. When it shows up, <coughs> this is Firefox, and you should be able to uh, change the uh, proxy settings in here. Okay, it'll be under under uh, fuck, where is it? Connection settings, and then just change all the stuff in here. Okay, so yeah. 
that's another way. Um, if that way doesn't work, if you can't access the registry editor, if you can't access any of those menus, then you can always try and use a registry explorer. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, so basically, registry explorer will enable you to view your registry and change things, providing it's not read only, and you can do what you want. Okay. So just download any of them. Don't really care. And then uh, once you've done that, you're pretty much set. Okay. Um, if none of those methods work for you, um, please tell me if they don't. Um, I will try and get back to you with uh, help if you if there really is no way you can do it. And we will get through it. Okay. I will find a way for you if you can't do it. Um, but yeah, that's that's the basic ways to do it. Um, I'll put it in the tutorials uh, section of my uh, website at rascal999.co.uk. You'll be able to find this file here, and I will bullet point the different ways you can do it. Okay. Okay. So I'm Rascal999. I hope this tutorial has helped you. It certainly helped me over the years. Um, my school's a, a bit. she will block anything it sees. And uh, yeah, this has been good help. So. Um, Please visit, my, please visit my website. Um, you can find PHP and Flash tutorials. Um, I will start working on those guys. Okay, I won't forget. I'm, I'm just trying to put it off at the moment because I've got other stuff to do. Okay, but I, I, I have tried today. I will get around to it. So yeah, um, I'm Rascal999. I hope this has helped. I've already said that. But whatever. And yeah, you can expect to find more tutorials from my website soon. Okay, I'll see you guys around. tricklife.com